Like, whoa, baby. Falls right around the corner. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, we're cycling. I'm the weirdo. That's happening right now. Hey guys, today I'm doing a big collective type haul. I mean, I went all over the place, so I didn't get like a bunch of stuff at one store. It's like Target, Macy's, Body Shop, Ulta, American Eagle, Amazon, all over the place. So this is just gonna be like a bunch of stuff. I guess it's kind of back to school-ish, but it's kind of just like whatever too. And I have all this stuff kind of just chilling over here. But my first thing I'm gonna mention is Amazon. I ordered two makeup items I've been really keeping my eye on for a while. And one of them is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. I was really excited to try this out because I know it's a huge thing in London and a lot of people I watch who are British always talk about this and I've just always been so curious because they only sell the concealer in a few stores in America and this you can find on Amazon or eBay for around $15 which is really pricey for Rimmel and for a foundation from a drugstore but I really wanted to try it out. One of my favorite things about it, I've tried it a couple of times, is the pump, which is great. It's really cute packaging. I've only used it about once or twice so far, so if you guys want a full review on it, like application and everything, then leave a comment. I am in the shade Classic Beige 201 if you guys were interested in what color I am. And it's the exact match, which is crazy, because online you can never see the color and know exactly which one's right. And this one was perfect, so that's crazy. The other thing that I was even more excited about, like, whoa baby, is that you guys know I like steel convertible colors. That is no secret. And I got this palette from Amazon for $14. Whoa! Each one of those convertible colors is around $25, I think. And this is a palette of five different shades. And it is gorgeous, called Color Me Pretty. I'll leave the link in the description if I can still find it. I think this one is Gerbera in the middle. This is one I already have, and that's Peony, which is another one I already have. But yeah, they're cream colors. And these are just gorgeous. I mean, oh, they're so pretty. There's a highlight, which I haven't really used. It's in Kitten. This one, I think, is Lilium. I'm not sure. It's a really neutral color. It's almost like a bronzer, but it's really warm. I have that as in my blush. And then this one, which is like the same color as my shirt almost, it's like a really dark red. I've been using that as a lip color recently. I actually have it on today as well. I really love this little palette. It's really, really nice to have all these different shades. I've just been really liking that because it was really affordable. And I, like, all these are definitely more product than one. And it was. $10 cheaper than one of the regular ones and they give you a dewy look they're cream and they last all day long it's just really really fantastic I love those and even for a little color I really like that dark one because you can kind of get that stained effect is Target which is of course one of my favorite stores whose store isn't their favorite you know what I mean anyways first thing I picked up is some pants which you know it's getting to be that time of year I mean it's still 90 degrees out but September's right well now but fall is right around the corner so I was in there looking at some stuff as you do when you go to Target and I got these pants they were on buy one half off but I only liked one color they also had green and I think just black but I already have a bunch of black skinny jeans and these are jeggings they're actually called they're skinny maroon I tried them on the store they fit me perfect this is $30 which isn't really bad for a nice pair of pants they're really really stretchy and comfortable these fit me perfect they're a little bit long on the bottom which I like they kind of bunch up a little they're a really nice color I love this burgundy shade as you can tell and then the bathing suit I've been looking for all summer, I swear. But is it now? It's September 1st. I got these about I got this about two weeks ago. And I've been looking for this bathing suit all summer long, could not find it. And now they're all on sale. This actually wasn't. It was one of the ones that wasn't on sale, but I talked to the woman and was like, this is all 30% off bathing suit. So she gave it to me. So each piece of this bathing suit was ten dollars, and I'm obsessed with it. Oh my god. I'm one of those people, if you saw my bathing suit collection video or swimsuit collection, that I only wear bandos. I cannot wear the triangle bathing suits. I just can't do it. I just can't. And this one is really cute. This is the bottoms. It has like the peach inner and it's just full back, back bottoms. The small fit me on the bottom. I usually need an extra small. The top is my favorite bit. The thing is, there's one left of this bathing suit in the whole store. In my size. What are the odds? And it looks almost like a sports bra, which I love. It has straps, which I don't always love a tan line, but it's not that bad. They're so comfortable. I mean, you can wear this in the ocean. You can wear this everywhere. I wear this with my family to the beach, and it was really great because you don't feel like you're falling out or like whatever. So that's really, really cute. And then the back is like that, which gives you a nice tan line. You think it would look kind of weird, but honestly, it all kind of blends together, and it's really not that big of a deal. I like how this has adjustable straps, and it just fits me really, really, really well, and it gives you a lot of support. And it's just a bit more coverage than a lot of bathing suits nowadays, and I think it's better material and quality than a lot of my Victoria's Secret ones, to be honest. And I just really, really like it. I'm so happy I got it. $10 a piece, so that's $20 for a bathing suit. Awesome! So I love that. And then on to more from Target. I also got this Pantene Pro-V Overnight Miracle Repair Serum. I had a coupon for a Pantene product, and I 
just didn't know which one to get and I've tried a bunch of them. I like their BB cream for hair, but I wanted to try something new. It smells nice and I think this was about six bucks, but I got like a three dollar off coupon, so it was half price. So I mean it's three bucks, I really can't complain about it, but it, there's a lot of product in here, so it'll definitely last a while. I also picked up a baby lips in the color Cherry Me. I like this color and it gives you a really nice kind of pinkish red color. Put it on right now on top of what I already have because why not? I really like the color it gives off. It just gives like a really nice stained color, lots of moisture and it smells like cherries, which I don't love, kind of like medicine, but whatever. I also have been looking for coconut oil to use as a hair treatment forever, and now this is before I got my hair cut, so I won't need to use this for a while, but um, everywhere I go to find like the natural coconut oil in the food aisle, it's really pricey at 11 bucks. I found it for $8 at Target, and it is the organic coconut oil by the brand Spectrum, just in this gold jar, which is nice, because once I use it up, I can reuse this gold jar for stuff. Whoa, recycling! Yeah. But if you guys have any good coconut oil kind of ideas for like your ends of your hair, let me know how you use it because I'm not really sure, but I definitely, nothing I bought for my ends like leaving conditioners or conditioning treatments were doing enough when my hair was really dried up, but I was hoping this would. I'm excited for this, so it was only $7.99 at Target, which is really exciting. Now onto American Eagle, which is really exciting. I got two pairs of jeans and a pair of shorts. The jeans that I got are the Sky High. These were $30 and they're the Sky High Jegging, I think that's what it's called. I got mine double zero because it's the only ones that fit me, and I got two shades. The first color I got was this really dark blue with the brown stitching on it. The back is just their normal kind of design, and it's just skinny jeans, you know, and they're really affordable. And then I liked them so much and they fit me and were really comfortable that I got another pair of the same ones, but they were super sky high, which means they're even more high-waisted, which is great because I have a lot of cropped sweaters and I can't wear them in the winter because I only have one pair of high-waisted pants or jeans, so now I can do that more often. Then I got these ones, like I, these are an indigo I think they were, so these are just solid dark dark blue, and they're super stretched, they're all just dark, so I like that, this is like more nice jeans. Most exciting bit is the shorts I got from American Eagle, because you guys know I got the white ones, the black ones, and the ones I'm wearing right now, which are really dark blue, of the sky high shorts from American Eagle, and I've been wanting like a light denim short, high waisted, I cannot find them anywhere, and then all of a sudden online they showed up for $12. So these are the American Eagle Sky High, but these are super sky high short, and they are in a light wash. So I've been wearing these. I've gotten all this stuff kind of over the past month. Um, I love how they're like worn a little bit. They're like a lighter color, more casual. It's really great to have a pair of something like this because they're really sky high waisted, like the title says. Duh. But they're just really comfy and stretchy and everything from American Eagle is so comfortable. Next, I went to the body shop because of Vicki Brown. You guys probably, if you watch my August favorites, know who she is because I did a collab with her for my August favorites, so go check her out, I'll have her link below. But she did a body shop haul recently, and I was just like inspired, and I was like, oh my god, I have to try more body shop stuff, because everything I have from them I really usually like a lot. And I wanted a new scent, so I love their body sprays, you guys know I love the coconut one, I'm obsessed with it, but I wanted something a bit more fall. So I literally smelled every scent in the entire store. So I ended up with the White Musk Smoky Rose Fragrance Mist. Now most of the scents I own have amber, sandalwood, any kind of musky kind of scent in it. So this is perfect because I do like the scent of rose. And now this is what this smells like to me is if you guys have ever gone to Lush and smelled the Rose Argon Body Conditioner, which is like $32. That's what this smells like, but it's in a fragrance. And now I would have gotten the perfume, but it's like 18 and this was like 12 or 13, something like that. And it's amazing. I just love it. It just makes me feel really good. It's a great smell. I definitely recommend giving it a little sniff if you're in the body shop. I went for a cleansing oil because I tried one of the cleansing balm things from Lush and I didn't like it. It, did, it worked like a cold cream. So I returned that and then I got this, which is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. And I really, really like this. It has a really chamomile scent. If you don't like that scent, Maybe you don't like it, but it's not like really strong. It really is a light scent. It doesn't hurt my eyes. I wear contacts while I'm removing this. That was 18 bucks at the body shop. Definitely recommend checking it out if you don't like using makeup wipes or you just want to try something new. I think it's cheaper than a lot of other oils. I'm really liking the body shop, so if you guys know anything of the body shop that you think I should try out, let me know because I love it. Next I went to Ulta and I picked up the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I love my ones from Urban Decay. You guys know I always use the All Nighter and the B6 but I'm running out of the all-nighter and it's kind of expensive and this was on sale for like $7.99 or something and it is a bit less of the product. I don't love it as much as those but I definitely am looking forward to trying it a bit more. I've only used it a couple of times and I do think it, it helps your makeup last. I don't know if it really gives me the same finish as the other ones but I'll let you guys know what I think about it once I've tried it out a bit more. But the thing I'm more excited about from Ulta is this hairspray stuff. And it's from the brand Eva NYC, which I've heard a lot of people mention in their Ipsy, I think it was, like a couple months back. 
and this is the Surf's Up Texture Spray for beachy waves and insane volume for all hair types. Now, I was going to get the dry shampoo, but you guys know I love my Batiste, and I do need a spray like this because, if you guys know, I've wanted the Oribe, or Orib, Orib, you know guys know what I'm talking about. That texture spray that everyone talks about says it smells really good, all that kind of stuff. I really want that, but that's like $42 for a bottle of the size. That's insane. This one literally feels like there's absolutely nothing in your hair. It smells really nice. I really am enjoying it. I've only used it like about two times so far just to test it out. I've used it this morning, although my hair is shorter so it has more volume anyway. My hair feels so smooth and soft. It doesn't feel like there's any spray in it at all. And the packaging is pretty cute and simple and just looks nice. And whenever this is on sale at Ulta, I'm definitely going to pick up some more okay, stuff. so now I only have Macy's left. And one thing I got from Macy's is this shirt that I'm wearing right now. And it's just a cropped maroon kind of quarter sleeve shirt. It's almost a ballet type, one of those ballet type shirts. It kind of has a rounded neck here, which I really like. It's $11 from American Rag, which I really, really like that brand from Macy's. It's really affordable. You can use the Macy's coupons on it. And I think I want to get more. It's nice and thin, but I, I love the color. It's for summer, for fall, everything. This is my favorite color to wear. I think it looks really good on me. So yeah, I really love this shirt for 11 bucks. I'll probably get some more of them. And then two things I got from Macy's that I didn't actually buy, but my mom bought the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, all those really expensive skincare. And she got a free gift with purchase because she did the pre-sale thing that was just going on. And she got like a bronzer and lipsticks and stuff, and she doesn't really wear very much makeup. So she gave me a couple of the pieces that came. So I got two things, and the samples are really, really good size. I mean, this is the bronzer. That's a really nice size for a sample. It is the one in, so it's called Bronze Goddess Powder Bronzer Number 2 Medium. It's really dark, which I love. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it, but nothing crazy. It's really nice. It has a huge mirror in it. It's coming off a bit lighter on camera than it actually is, but I think that I could use this as eyeshadow or something like that, so I'm really excited to try that out. And then the lipstick that I took, they're kind of minis, I think, unless that's a full-size lipstick. I don't know. You guys know I don't wear lipstick. But this is the Pure Color in 82 Cream Berry. It's a cream color, long-lasting lipstick. It's a really nice mauve shade for fall. It's kind of like a brownie, pink mauve. I'd just say mauve. You guys, I describe everything as mauve. But I really, really, really like it. That was the last product. So that's all I got. I feel like it was a lot more before. Now that I showed it all, it's really not as much as I thought it was. But I did buy this all over a month, so I'm not showing off. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know that whole disclaimer nonsense. I just want to show you guys what I got because I'm going to be using it in videos. And I feel like you guys are interested when I do hauls. I get the most views on them. So that's why I'm doing them. People get so mad. Oh, anyways. That was off track. That was it for this haul. Let me know what, what videos you guys want to see in the future. Also let me know what kind of blog posts you guys want soon. That is my cat's foot because she's cleaning herself right here. Yep, that's happening right now. Okay, so let me know what blog posts you guys want and videos and all that kind of stuff. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you want a review on any of these products or me to do a video with them or anything like that. And I think that's it. Don't forget to check me out Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Everything in the description box. Just look at the description box and you'll, you'll know. All this stuff will be listed down there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay. I know. Baby girl. Come on. Scoop, please. Thank you. Um. What am I saying? Two? No. Um. I have a cookie. Famous Amos. Here are some good cookies. Eat them if you have them. Great musk root and blah 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 blah. It's like you uh, I can't talk. Itchy nose, itchy nose. Yum. Yeah, um, my uh, um, I think